Hello and welcome back to another video and then this one's gonna be a little di little bit different. I'm gonna be ranking Skyrim foods like not all the foods but like no beverages or ingredients just like certain foods uh yeah I'm gonna be ranking from worst to best uh that's about it on to the video. Okay so this first one is clam meat. Clam meat is horrible. It restores one point of health and it just looks like shit and it's hard to find I haven't found anyone that sells it, obviously, because it's so horrible. Uh, it's just the worst. On to the next one. This next one is Gourd. Uh, gourd is something you can find in the wild. and uh, It is somewhat good, but it's like something someone would pick up and like never use it. And they'll just sell it for one go gold. So, yeah, on to the next one. Damn. That's all I can say about it actually have any butter it's apparently hard to find and uh so it just does the same amount of stuff as ash am so i guess i'll go on to the next one in my opinion carrots are good but i didn't actually know this but they uh only restore one point of health which isn't good uh you can collect a lot of them which is somewhat good but it's just something people eat tons of and uh it's something you should probably spend your time getting on better stuff like chicken breast Although carrots are something you just randomly find and use it, so this sh should probably be higher up, but I'm just going to keep it here. So we got leek. It's like some vegetable thing you get. It's It restores 1.1 1. 1, uh, weight. Somewhat good, but it's on the low scale. Alright, we got some potatoes. I have 42 of them, which means that they're really easy to find, and uh, they could be used to restore some health when you really need it. So, yeah, potatoes are pretty good, but I'm going to keep them to the low because they only do, re they only restore one point of health and they're only worth one gold and point one weight. So, yeah, they're going to be lower. This next one is Soul Husk. I don't have, a, I don't have any of them. Uh, you can only get them whenever you are a Dawn Guard going to uh, that one weird car Karn place. I don't know what it's called, but I only get it once and that's why it's low. It also uh, resists 10 percent of magic for 10 seconds so that's pretty good if you have some on your in your inventory I recommend using them like quickly all right we got some uh we got sack of flour you can either you can either uh find this or you can make it like I am right now it costs three wheat which should be nearby the grain mill that you have to use to make it also butter I mentioned earlier uh, you also need a butter churn to make that so good luck with that all right, we got baked potato now. Uh, baked potatoes are somewhat hard to make. You have to actually bake them in like some place. I don't know how to do it, but if you want to get potatoes to make the baked potato, you have to come to this place right outside White Run. Uh, there's some <laughs> potato plants right here. You can just rob, and they won't do anything about it. And you can just go make the baked potatoes from there. Baked potatoes are let's see, they give you five health, five health, which is pretty good. Uh, on to the next one, which is garlic bread. We got garlic bread now. Uh, garlic bread restores two health, but it cures it cures all diseases. That's why it's uh, number eleven. Now there's uh, grilled leeks. It's kind of like leeks earlier, but it does six points of health now. Yep. All right, we got cheese wheels now. They are lower because they weigh two things, but they restore fifteen points of health, which is pretty good. I also forgot to get some honey, uh, it restores two uh, things of health, points of health, but I don't have it, so yeah. I also didn't get honey nut treats, I thought I got some, but no, uh, they, they're pretty good, they restore five uh, points of health, and they're just point one weight, I think. I actually have raw rabbit leg, and I'm putting it up higher because raw rabbit leg tastes pretty good. We get sweet roll, uh, it restores five points of health. And it also looks, actually that doesn't look good, that, that does not look good at all. It looks like someone uh, came on it. Alright, I don't actually have braided bread, but there's some bread right here. Braided bread, uh, whenever you go to Bleak, Bleak Falls Barrow in the beginning, uh, there's some of braided bread by Thomas, which is kind of weird. It uh, increases your carry, carry capacity by 5 for 30 seconds once you eat it. Some baked potatoes, like I said earlier. Alright, so I've got apple dumplings, which is something you can make after uh, doing uh, building all the dining tables and all homesteads. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to get. It's not really worth the effort, but it does increase your carrying capacity for, 
Actually, no, that's braided bread. Uh, I got that mixed up. Well, whoops, uh, it actually increases your bow's damage by 5% for 60 seconds. So, in this video I've been saying that you can actually make stuff. Well, that's only for DLC, which is kind of weird. I think I have all DLCs, so I might be able to do it. But yeah, chicken dumplings are next, but uh, you can't really do that. But they also restore 15 health, which is pretty good. Lavender dumplings are kind of in the same boat as the other dumpling. Uh, they restore 5 health though, so they're not as good. This is one of my favorites, Mammoth Cheese Bowl. <laughs> you can find these in your mammoths and they restore 10 points of health and 15 points of stamina, which is pretty good. So I got another food that's for the Hearth Fire DLC like the others. It's Juniper Berry Crustata. And also Elsewhere Fondue. Both have special perks to them, but you can't really make them without the DLC. Or maybe it's a whole different game, I have no idea. Alright, we got a home cooked meal. It increases your health, magicka, and stamina recovery. Its value is 5. You can get this really easily, and it's higher because of that. You can All you have to do is talk to your wife after 24 hours, and she'll give you a new one like that. Also, 98.9% .9 of you don't actually subscribe, and it helps out a lot, and uh, yeah. So I haven't killed a horker recently, but you can make a stew out of them. Uh, it actually uh, doesn't do much, but it's pretty good. By doesn't do much, I mean like it gives you a lot of health and stamina. So any cooked meat is pretty good. Uh, yeah, just any cooked meat can go up to, I think, 20 health and 10 stamina. Maybe it's 12 and 15. I have no idea, but yeah, just cook your food. It's worth it in the long run. Speaking of, the best I think in the game is Horker and Ash Yam Stew. You might need a hearth fire to make this, but I, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty good. So if you like this and want to see more of this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. Bye.